Morning everyone, today is the 15th of February and it's a very very special day for me because it's my last IV chemo. Pretty crazy, like I just can't believe this day has come, it's absolutely mental. Like I remember starting my first ever IV chemo back in September, September 18th I think it was, um, and it's mad. For all those new viewers out there, I am Ellie, as you hopefully would have gathered already, and in September of 2015 I got diagnosed with rare childhood cancer called alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma. Because it was stage 4, I had to have 18 months of treatment, which consisted of 7 months of intensive chemotherapy, included um, with 28 sessions of radiotherapy. Fun fact, my, exactly a year ago today, I started my first ever session of radiotherapy. If you told me a year ago to, today, when I had that first session, session of radiotherapy, that I'd be having my last ever IV chemo, I would just say probably, oh my god, that's so long away. But it's literally gone so quick. Radiotherapy feels like it was yesterday. The day has come and I'm gonna, I am think I'm going up to the hospital at 3 or 4 p.m. Um, so, exciting! I'm really excited. I'm just excited to do this last IV chemo and then have my two weeks of oral chemo and then I'm done. Done, done, done. And it's just crazy. I'm even wearing my shirt, special shirt for the occasion, straight outer chemo. So the maintenance chemo is 12 rounds well, 12 cycles of chemo and um, each cycle lasts for four weeks and I have oral chemo each day and then each week, once a week, I have, well, for three weeks out of the cycle, uh, once a week I have the, what do you call it, IV chemo called Rinarelbin and then I get a week free, then I start the next cycle. So this will be the last chemo of cycle 12 it's just crazy that cycle 12 is here it's gone so quick so majorly quick hey again everyone i've just finished about i don't know i've been working on my maths for about an hour i've been working on algebra because we've been working on a lot of algebra recently and i get all the stuff in class but i want to know more and more of the advanced things so i've been doing completing the square been doing all this and I've been getting on really well with it and some people must think I'm crazy for doing school work in the half term but it gives me something to do stops me from being bored and um I don't have the energy in the school term to always revise stuff I don't know so it's just easier if I do it cram it all in in the half term. Yeah, that's what I've been doing and then I'm going to take a break until lunch. I think it's about 11.30 now. We're going to go out for lunch and then when I get back, if I have time, I might do some physics or something and then walk the dogs. Hey everyone, so we're off to the hospital now to get my last chemo. Woohoo! And yeah, for the past few hours ever since we got back from the restaurant, I've just been sleeping, I was really tired, I don't feel very well. Still don't feel too great, but I feel a lot better than I did. And Mum, how do you feel that this will be your, your last chemo run? It's a really thing. Um, another milestone reached. Yeah, exciting. Exciting. Uh, this will be the last chemo run. It'll be weird not to have chemo pumped into me anymore. Okay, so I'm expecting to be thousand more. Expecting? Been around it. My last been around it. Okay, hold on. I'm not sure. Good. You ready? Enough. Yep. It's time. Yep. Okay. 
Yay, I was for that open. That is finished. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 It's hard to envisage this at the beginning because it was like a good 18 months of yeah. treatment. Yeah. It was a bit. Ready? Yep. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Last funky plaster. So I'm back home now and yeah, so I just had my last chemo and I'm kind of speechless of what to say. I'm just so excited and one step closer into getting into remission. I've got two weeks of oral chemo left and then I'm done. It's crazy. I was just thinking on the way into the in the car. I wouldn't have to go to the hospital every single Wednesday anymore. And I can't really remember what like a normal life feels like. This is my normal life. So... It'll be so weird, like adjusting to not as much hospital visits and getting my energy back and be able to do sports again. But I know I'll love the adjustment because it's so frustrating not being able to do sports and do school full time. So it's just really exciting and I just can't stop smiling because I just, at the style treatment, I just thought this day would never come. It just seems so far away and I just couldn't foresee it. But now that it's actually here, it's just mental and I'm just so lucky, so, so lucky that I've made it and I beat cancer and I reacted to treatment so well and I've had amazing doctors, I've had amazing treatment and yeah, I'm so thankful for that. Yeah, I'm just... It's going to take me a while just to kind of let it really sink in. It's just crazy. As I say, just crazy. Like, I can't believe that's my last Vinarel bin I'll ever get. Because, like, throughout this maintenance pro, like, what should I call it? Throughout this maintenance chemo regime, you know, you just always came in for the next week, the next week. It felt like it was never ending. Um, because you still have probably quite a lot of chemos to get through. Uh, but now that it's actually done, it's like crazy. Like, what the hell? What am I going to do with my Wednesdays? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, what am I going to do with my Wednesdays? But I think I'll probably take up swimming or do something else. You know, there's other things better to do than chemo. Let's be real. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to just... Um, move the video of me getting my chemo onto my laptop and then put it on Instagram so all my followers can see and yeah it's gonna be good I'm so excited and it just feels unreal it feels so unreal hey guys it's about half seven now in the evening and I've just had my dinner and I've uploaded all my posts for tonight I find that it's really important that I update my social media with all my like milestones and like updates and things because you guys are supporting me all the way and it, may it has made my journey so much easier and it has made my journey so much more positive that I have all of my followers by my side as well. So I've been putting posts up for you guys. Um, and yeah, uh, if you aren't following my social media, then I then the links are in the description box if you want to check them out. Hey guys, so I'm going to bed now and I just want to say thank you for joining this amazing adventure with me of today. It's been super exciting and I'm glad 
that I filmed it for you guys just so you can witness what it's like and all my thoughts and feelings towards it as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna get to bed, read my book. I'm reading To Kill a Mockingbird. It is so good, loving this book. And um, I've got my injection tonight, which is called Jesus F, and it helps bring my counts up after I have chemo. I'm not really supposed to have it in maintenance chemo, but I have to just because my counts won't come up by themselves. Uh, so yeah, but I've only got one week left of that. Yeah, one week left. So happy because they're not very nice injections really. But yeah, I'm really excited about the future. I've just been like so happy ever since I came back home. I just can't describe. I'm just happy and I'm really looking forward to see what the future holds. It's weird thinking that soon I'll be living like a normal life because I haven't had that in the past 18 months but it's exciting like um, a few weeks ago if you asked me if I wanted to go into remission I would have said I'm not ready because I found maintenance chemo okay but this cycle has hit me quite hard it's made me realize that the chemo now is doing more damage than good and I just need to move on. I need For me, chem maintenance chemo is like a safety blanket, but now that it's doing more harm than good, um, I just need to move on to that next chapter of my life. And it is scary because remission is like going into a battle with no armour. But I'll just take every, each day as it comes. I fear very very deeply about relapse but you know you can't control everything and you can't let that drag you down so I am going to live every day to the full and do anything and everything that I can I just can't wait to get back into full-time school like I just can't wait because I can't wait to have the energy just to be doing full-time school because a lot of my friends are doing after school clubs and things but I, I'm not able to because I don't have the energy um, and I can't wait to get back into sports it's just all exciting all very exciting I just want to regain a bit more normality again and I've really been especially this cycle I've really been longing to regain a bit of normality I've joined such a nice friend group and I'd like to do some of the stuff that they're doing, like after school clubs, and it's frustrating when you have chemo holding you back. So, last IV chemo, super, super happy, and yeah, we'll see. I'm excited for these next few weeks to be over and done with, and then ringing the bell for remission, going to remission, then I'll be having my scans sometime after that, and then my port will be removed. So exciting so we'll see what the future holds and of course keep you all updated on my social medias on my blog so make sure you follow them and yeah so i'm gonna say good night now um thank you so much for watching this vlog it means so much for me to me that you guys have watched this vlog because it's such a special day for me and i really wanted to share it with you guys so thank you so much for watching night